Hi there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of creative homes and showcase alternative lifestyles. In this week's video, we're going to take a tour of one man's container home manufacturing company, which he started after building his first container in his parents' backyard. After that, Tony felt pretty strongly that he could create a company based on alternative living spaces. And now today he's built many, many more container homes for people interested in alternative lifestyles. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time I publish a new video. But right now, let's meet Tony and take a tour. Hi, I'm Tony with Alternative Living Spaces. So the company started in 2017. It started in my parents' backyard with one little 20-foot uh, container that I thought would be really fun to convert into a tiny home. Since then, we've evolved into now a team from a great build crew, to a sales team, to marketing, things like that. And so, you know, back then it was just me and really my dad building out of my backyard. And now we have our facility where we're able to take on maybe 10 to 12 projects at a single time to work on. What's funny is when I bought this first container, I remember telling my dad that I'd build it out in three months. And at the time I used all my money to buy the container. So I was out of funds for my materials and spent the next nine months working my couple different jobs, saving up the money, and then on the weekends I'd work on it. So it took me nine months to build the first container. What's kind of cool about the first container is I remember once I got it done, I had reached out to a buddy of mine that was good with videos and just said, hey man, I think it'd be really cool to do a YouTube video of this. And so he helped me do a little bit of a tour. We just kind of walked through the unit. And I remember I launched the business uh, website the day before. And so we were just getting started. I thought, you know what, if someone wants to reach out, maybe we'll get some contacts. And sure enough, the video ended up going viral and that's what started the business. What inspired me to get into building alternative living spaces was really the fact that housing, uh, when I was, you know, this was about five years ago, it's even more now, but at the time I just thought, man, housing is so expensive and just thought there had to be a better way, a more affordable option, and really just started thinking about smaller housing and saw containers is a really good structure to build a smaller house within. So the average container home will range anywhere between fifty dollars and $100,000. You can have them built out for less, but that's a home that's going to have full bathroom, full kitchen, and it's something that you could actually live out of full time. Now that's the cost for the container conversion itself. There could be additional costs associated for you having your land, prepping your property, um, or if you have to go through the permitting process as well. And we do have some options that are on wheels, so we can actually take your container tiny home, put it on wheels, get it RV certified, and now you can actually put your tiny home anywhere that an RV can go. I think container homes are a really good alternative to traditional tiny homes, mainly because of their durability. Containers are extremely strong. They're made out of steel. And so you're going to get a home that can last a very long time and can also even withstand natural disasters. So areas like, say, Florida or areas that have earthquakes and hurricanes, this really ends up being a great form of housing. Up till now, we've built about 100 shipping container homes. So the process of building a shipping container home is not a whole lot different than building any other type of home or even tiny home. The biggest difference is just how you work around the container and you work with it. All right, so right behind me is our first bay. What's cool about our space is we've done everything out of containers. So all of our storage is containers. Uh, essentially our warehouse space is out of containers and container tents. So right here we got bay one and two. We got two really cool projects going on that we're going to showcase and show you guys. But then we also have a few different bays spread out as well. So we're getting some more tents here soon uh, just to try to get out of the direct heat because we are in Vegas. So thankfully uh, it's not too hot today, but it gets super hot out here. Uh, but with that, let's take a look at these first two containers. So we're standing right in front of a 40 foot one trip high cube shipping container. Uh, this is going to be installed just outside of San Diego. It's going into a client's backyard as an ADU. Uh, they're going to be using it as an Airbnb rental or when they have family in town so that they can stay in it. 
This is a really unique container. I don't think we've ever done one with this many windows before. It has a total of 16 windows. So really, really a lot of light coming in this unit. And the first space you walk into is gonna be the kitchen. The kitchen is gonna be right underneath these three windows. So there'll be some butcher block countertops. It'll have a full size fridge, a two burner stove top. On this side is gonna be the living room. So sofa is gonna be right here in this space. They'll have their TV mounted up here. And then we did something cool with the container doors. So this is actually the original container doors. We just cut out where it already has some structural support and we're gonna reinstall glass right here. So this will basically be two doors with floor to ceiling glass as an additional entrance. So it should be pretty cool. And then going towards the back, there's gonna be a hallway right here. This will end up being a full size bathroom. They'll have a nice tile shower with the frosted glass window, uh, vanity and toilet. And then in the back is gonna be the bedroom. The next space is our office space. So we spaced out two 20 foot shipping containers just to create a little bit of a courtyard space in between, a place where guys can kind of hang out on lunch break or if we have clients doing a tour, a place to sit down and talk about what they're looking for. The office on this end is basically our break room. So nothing crazy, just a space for guys to have a break, drink some water, eat lunch. And then over here is basically our main offices. Uh, so just got a few desks in here for the team. Some of our team members that work remote, but for the people that are here, we all work right out of this 20 foot uh, shipping container. So this unit right behind me is a really unique one. It's actually a shipping container on wheels. So it's gonna be RV certified. So technically it's an RV, you can tow it on any road. This unit is unique in that it's actually being turned into a mobile gym. It's actually, my cousin started a container gym business called Fury Co. So we're building out his gyms for him. And this is gonna be going to Hollywood. It's gonna be for some actors and actresses to use to stay in shape when they're on set. And we hear rumors that maybe people like Jason Momoa and some others are gonna be training in it here shortly. So it should be pretty cool. This one right here is a 40 foot container. So this is our one bedroom model. So it's got a full bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room area. This one is gonna be going to the Midwest and it leaves here in about 10 days. So we're almost done. Just got some final finishing touches. When you walk into this unit, the first space is the living room. So sofas here, TV right here. Got a little uh, collapsible tabletop. So it just folds right up. Opportunity to put a couple little bar stools, hang out and eat. Kitchen is right here on the left. Two burner stove top, 21 inch sink, full size fridge here to the right. Bedroom is in the back. We got a 9,000 BTU mini split. Works out well for a unit this size. On this end of the bedroom, we're gonna have a combo washer dryer. And then we're working with a custom furniture company here in Vegas. They're gonna do a custom wardrobe right here. So there'll be some drawers on the side. These doors will open up for them to hang up their shirts and things like that. All right, for the bathroom, we got a modern style door, five panel frosted glass. And then on the interior, a lot of those same butcher block themes. And then we went with a metal roofing panel for the shower. So we just basically bend uh, the metal panels and it turns out pretty well for a shower. So this unit right behind me is a really unique unit that we got to do. We actually got to do it for an HGTV show that just aired about a month ago. And this is a 24 foot container. So we actually took the container doors, opened them up, welded them to add an additional four feet. This unit is also RV certified on wheels. Uh, let's take a look inside. So the interior of this unit is pretty unique. I've never done a container home that had all tile floors. The designers really wanted this unit to have tile floors, and so we did one with an epoxy grout. Also a lot of really unique windows, a lot of natural light in here. The main color is white, so it just feels a little bit more open. Really unique floor plan though, right up here, ends up being a little bit more of like a living room space. Uh, as we go, we're gonna go into the bathroom first, and then there's bunk beds in the back that, for the owner, it's for the kids. What's cool about the bathroom is it's got a skylight. So we did a two by two skylight. The interior really with really high end finishes. So cool tile backsplash here, MP3 player up here. Uh, cool kind of like more of the gold brass type fixtures. Same thing as you enter into the shower space, all tile shower with similar look on the fixtures. 
All right, the last part of this tiny home, you'll notice a narrow hallway is for two kids. So, you know, normally I wouldn't recommend that size. We got bunk beds in the back for the kids. They got plugs so they can each have kind of like a built-in TV. Storage underneath. And then they each have their own window as well. So cool little space. So this next build, as you'll notice behind me, is not a shipping container. It's actually a camper van. And so we started to kind of delve into the camper van space and just trying to live out that alternative living space idea. And so let's go ahead and take a look inside. It's a Dodge ProMaster 2500, 159 inch wheelbase. Basically you got a kitchen space here with fridge, stove, a sink, a little eating area in the back that turns into a bedroom space. So then right here we got our shower. The nice thing about like a shower head like this has got the little on off switch so you can just kind of try to manage your water. A little cassette toilet as well. And this is fully off grid. And so you really could live in this thing full time. Has a good size water tank, plenty of solar power, and really is just meant to uh, have people go on an adventure with. The most fulfilling thing about what we do is really a number of things. I'd say, number one, I think it's really important in business to have purpose behind it. You know, why are you doing this? And it has to be a greater purpose than making money. And so for us, we really feel like we can make a difference in the area of affordable housing. I feel like we're pretty, pretty early. And I think there's still a lot of counties that are catching up and trying to have the opportunity to have alternative housing, but we are seeing areas start to approve it. And so it's really exciting to be part of that. I definitely see myself being involved in this space long term. For me, it's more than just having a business. I really, this is my passion. You know, I, I grew up loving architecture. I wanted to be an architect early on, and then I wanted to be a business owner. Then I ended up getting a degree in theology. So I've been all over the place, but it's, it's awesome to be, be able to design stuff, build stuff, and ultimately help people. And so I uh, really love what I do and, and we'll be doing this for a long time. For people that are interested in getting into this industry, what I love about containers is it's very doable as a DIY project. So when I did my first container home in 2017, I had actually just about zero construction knowledge. And so I was going, coming in as a blank slate and just was looking up online, how do you do this stuff? Um, ended up building my first container home for $13,000 in material. I did all the labor, my dad had helped me out a little bit. There's sure there's some things going back, I would have changed how I built it, but for the most part, if you do some research, this is really something you can do yourself. It really does come, up, come down to a lot of the regulation in the area that you're at. So if you're in a location where there's really low regulation, you're really in good, uh, a good spot to build your own container home. If you're interested in building your own container home, Tony is offering a free online class on May 5th. You can find out more information on that in the description. And I will see you soon with another tiny or creative home tour.